Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of your HLGU News Update. I'm Kayla Houchin. With the end of the semester quickly approaching, a new set of students start looking at HLGU's campus. For the fifth year in a row, the university hosted the event Experience HLGU Day. New admitted students toured the campus, heard from current students, and met with faculty and staff. It's the biggest visit day for HLGU and requires multiple people to help out. It's a lot of fun. I was communications major here at Hannibal LaGrange University. I love event planning. It's my forte. Um, but it's a little bit of crazy and a whole lot of fun and everyone pitches in together. Faculty, staff, students, everyone in the admissions office. Future students also heard from President Dr. Allen. The admission office says it's an event that helps high school seniors finalize their decision to come to HLGU. The Hannibal LaGrange University Lady Softball team held their second annual pink fundraiser. The Lady Trojans played Benedictine Springfield to raise awareness about breast cancer. Junior softball player Taylor Lewis says the team is motivated to play for cancer survivors. Um, today is so important because I think that cancer has affected many lives and it's a huge deal to us to bring everyone out and to remember all the people who have beaten it and who are taking it on now and so we just take it into effect and we play for them on this day. Pink shirts were sold by the Lady Trojans to raise money for the foundation. Funds went to the James E. Carey Cancer Center and the Life Light Hope Fund at Hannibal Regional Hospital. Director of Development Sarah Dudley says she hopes the team will take away pride in knowing they're helping others. I think that they're a great group of girls. I think that this is a little bit of something that they can take along with them. Obviously with the shirt they can always remember they did it, but just pride in the fact that knowing that they're helping other people, even with just a simple game, a simple gesture of selling shirts, how many people that they actually help and how grateful we are for their help. The softball team raised over $900 to help fund the battle against cancer. A new club is coming to HLGU this fall. The debate club is just starting here on campus, and English professor and pre-law advisor Lewis Riggs says the experience could benefit a lot of students. The debate team is designed to teach people how to argue effectively. It's useful for folks who want to go to um, neat things like law school. It'd be useful for folks who are going into criminal justice who may find themselves in a courtroom someday facing examination. It's Riggs says you don't have to just be a criminal justice or pre-law student to get in on the fun. Debate Club promotes logical thinking, problem-solving skills, and is a good way to meet new people on the campus. The team will practice during forensic class time this fall on Monday and Friday afternoons. Students enrolled in the class will compete throughout the year. Uh, it's not too well known, but uh, 10 years ago HLG did have a uh, nationally ranked debate team. And that has uh, since uh, dissipated somewhat. We would like to be able to bring that back and offer that as a, a value um, to students here uh, to help further education. Students interested in joining the debate team need to contact Lewis Riggs or Dr. Lonnie Nelson. Senior communications major Brittany Atkins is using her senior project to help local kids. Atkins held a benefit yard sale at Calvary Baptist Church recently. All proceeds of this sale went to the Shiloh Christians Children's Ranch, which cares for abused and neglected children. Well, the sale for Shiloh started um, because I was an intern for this organization last summer, and it's a home for abused and neglected kids. And that summer rocked my world. Like I loved, I fell in love with those people there and those kids. And and with the senior project, you know, it's very, it's a very open-ended kind of assignment. So it could come in any way shape or form and I would I really wanted to benefit Shiloh in some way. Donations came in from all around the community and made for a big sale. There were tons of clothes as well as kitchen items, housewares, toy electronics and much more. Adkins raised over a thousand dollars for the kids at Shiloh. This year's grill off was moved indoors due to the weather. Two teams of cooks paired off for the event. The grill masters team included Carolyn Carpenter, Megan Shadrick, Lauren Yaus, and Jordan Argo. Members of the pit bosses were Victor Matthews, Richard Medina, Joe Throwers, and Jacob Weir. Congratulations to the pit bosses who won three of the four categories. With the end of the semester quickly approaching, we sent out Rebecca Schwartz to see how you plan on coping with finals week. Hey everyone, I'm Rebecca Schwartz, and this week we wanted to know how you plan on surviving finals. I'm um, gonna study a lot and drink a lot of coffee. 
I plan to curl up in a fetal position and sob. Well, that's all the time we have for now. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kayla Houchin.